Well, in my last video with PaintShop Pro X2, we showed how to carefully erase out a background so that you could carve out someone and extract them, put them on another layer, and add them to another picture to make an interesting compilation like this one. So now they've come out with a, an update, X3, that makes it even easier to do this. So here's the update, and this is the picture we're going to make. So we'll close that. Here's our dessert. We're going to crop that down. Oh, that looks like a fairly good size. Just double click inside the lightened area. It'll crop it for us. And here's a picture of Kim in Nassau a few weeks ago on Paradise Island. She's actually was smelling flowers. So we'll crop that just to make it easier to work with. Now we'll go to Image and select the new Object Extractor. Here we'll need to figure out what size brush we want to use. Something that will make it easy to go around uh, the edges of the picture. So that looks like a size that's not too bad. Uh, but I think we'll want to zoom in a little bit so that we can uh, do a better job. I just hit the full size one to one. I could go a little bit bigger here, it would make it easier, faster to go around. And just to show you how that can work to your advantage, it goes a lot faster when you do it that way. We have a panning tool here, so you can easily get up to the other areas. We'll go around. The areas where you have the greatest contrast is where this will work e easier, faster, better. You'll need some touch up in the areas uh, where there's not good contrast. Now we want we want to do is uh, paint the area that we want to take out. So just click in there and then we can tell it to process and there we have Kim click OK. We now have Kim over here and we'll probably want to clean it up with the eraser tool. So here's the eraser tool. We'll zoom in. I'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in uh, rather than it's just quicker and easier. So over here uh, I'm erasing that off. Now an interesting thing here is these colors are pretty close right here to the color of the background. So using the right mouse button, I can actually just paint these back in. So I can erase and I can paint back in. So don't be worried about going fast and making mistakes. We'll paint that back in a little, clean this up. Here again, the colors match the background, so I took it out. Uh, in here I'll need to use a small brush to do a good job in there. Uh, we'll make Kim a little bit happier. We'll make her a little thinner while we're at it. She's my wife so that's a good thing. Clean this up. Hair's a little thin there. Let's paint it back in where the device had a little trouble. She lost her nose a little there. That's where the flowers were. It had a little bit of a harder time discerning the difference. And that pretty much looks like it. So now is all I have to do is do a control C to copy or you can go over here and right click and, and do a copy whichever is easier, faster for you. We'll call up our dessert and we want to paste this. I'm right clicking up here on the frame and we want to paste as a new layer. So now there's Kim with our pointer tool. We'll put her over here. Let's get her a little closer. Like she really wants that ice cream up there. And that's pretty much it. So uh, you may want to clean up the picture a little bit. This looks a little faded. Select that layer and we'll adjust. We can do the one stop. 
one step and now we got a lot nicer looking picture there we can do that to Kim as well select that layer adjust with a one step photo fix and she's a lot brighter and that's pretty much it we can just save this now as it's F12 to uh, save under a different name and we don't want to lose our original picture here uh, or you can just go file save as whichever is more convenient for you and you just name it something like Kim's Dessert we'll call it Kim's Dessert 2 now I'm saving it as a JPEG so I wouldn't be able to come back and edit this but with PaintShop Pro I can save that as a JPEG and then I can do another save as and still save it as a PaintShop Pro image so I can come back and edit this later on and uh, move things around but you'll need the JPEG if you're going to post it on your website or uh, Facebook or wherever you're going to put that so there you have it Kim and her dessert thanks for watching